All right, what is up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update your BIOS to unlock more performance, better compatibility, and just fix certain bugs within your motherboard settings. So if you don't know what BIOS is, it's basically the motherboard settings that whenever you spam delete on your keyboard while opening up your PC or F12 or any other special keys to get into BIOS, it shows motherboard settings like, like for CPU, for memory, and for other things. So motherboard settings are kind of complicated. I leave that to the experts like people like like me or just somebody that you're paying for an optimization for that you know is reputable and trustable leave that to that but if you just want to update your bios for whatever reason just because you're on newer parts or you're on ddr5 and you want the best performance out of ddr5 or just because you're having some bugs with your current bios so all we're going to do first is check what our current version of bios is so the easiest way to do this is press windows key and r type ms info 32 and then press ok and then as you can see bios version slash date that's the one we're looking for and just look at the date right at the right so for me the update is 7 23rd 2022 so for me i'd probably want to update it but for you guys if it's in 2023 like this year i'd say leave it alone but if you're on ddr5 or any of the newer parts like ryzen 7 7000 series or 13th gen intel or 12th gen intel then definitely upgrade the bios just because it fixes a lot of the bugs a lot of the issues that come with ddr5 or just with the newer parts and provides better performance so how we're going to do this is very simple all you want to do is figure out what type of motherboard you have so all we're going to do is go to the website in the description below we're going to download cpuz which is a program that we can use to check cpu motherboard and ram information and even gpu so so once you're on the website all you want to do is click zip english and then you want to click download now now it's going to download as a zip file so make sure you have either winrar 7zip or some type of zip software you can open the program with so all we're going to do is open up cpuz it's going to open up right here we're going to double click cpuz x64.exe then it should start loading up and it's going to show us our processor information our motherboard information our bios information and all of that so as you can see it's showing us our cpu information which can be helpful but we're looking at main board so main board we're going to look under bios as you can see it shows us the version and the date and our motherboard which is what we're looking for so for me i have a b450 tomahawk max and then all i'm going to do is go to google literally search up b450 tomahawk max and it should show up the first link click it and then for you it's going to look kind of different depending on what brand you have but if you're on msi it's pretty simple just go to support if you're on asus or any of the other motherboards just same thing go to support and then you want to go to drivers and downloads and then we're going to click bios and then we're going to download the latest one so before we download the latest one we want to scroll down and make sure none of the updates require a certain update before so for example you might see update to version and then a number of the version before updating to this version so most of you mo won't have to worry about this but if you're on an older system you might have to worry about this but for most of us we should be perfectly fine just installing the latest one so you want to also make sure that you're not installing beta versions beta versions can have bugs errors which is not what we want we want the opposite of that that's the only reason we're trying to update the bios so as you can see it shows us some of the descriptions and some of the information that changes with the latest bios but basically all we're going to do is download the latest one it's going to download as a zip file now you want to make sure you have seven zip or winrar especially for this step because that's that's the only way we can get the zip file to extract all right everybody so once you have it downloaded all you want to do is right click on the zip file and then right click on it click extract here or extract all whatever you're going to use and then i'm gonna double click on the folder it makes and the bios file should be right here now the easiest way to update our bios and not have any issues looking for the actual file is just drag the actual file it might be ending with dot rom dot something but the txt you want to ignore or bios rename tool you want to ignore the file that you're looking for is the one with like the actual version of the bios in the name so for me it's going to be this one and then you just want to drag it to local disk and then you want to make sure it's in your c drive as you can see it's right here for me so now all we're gonna do is reboot to our BIOS. So the easiest way to do this is actually hold shift and then restart our PC through start menu. So all we're gonna do is hold shift and then while holding shift, press restart. And it's gonna bring us to the advanced startup screen. All we're gonna do is go over to troubleshoot, advanced options, and then UEFI five from more settings and then press restart. Now, if you don't have this, the easiest way to go to BIOS is just restart your PC and spam the DEL key, AKA delete key on your keyboard. Backspace is not the delete key. A lot of 
people mistake this with the delete key. The actual delete key is the one you have to press. And if you're on a 60% keyboard, the easiest way to actually go into BIOS is just get a full keyboard real quickly and just plug it in and span the delete key on that. But if you have no other choice, you might have to hold the FN key. And while holding the FN key, spam the backspace key or whatever key that has delete right under it and do that while restarting the computer. So for me, I'm gonna do that step just because it's easy. All right, everyone, so once you're in BIOS, you wanna look for something that is called flash. So depending on the BIOS you have and depending on the motherboard you have, it's gonna be called something else. So for ASUS, it's gonna be ASUS Easy Flash 3 Utility or something along those lines. From MSI, it's gonna be M Flash, just like me. I'm on MSI, so it's gonna be called M Flash. For ASRock, I think it's either Instant Flash or somewhere like that, and then Gigabyte, it's just I think it's just Q flash or something like that so depending on the motherboard you have it might require a USB stick to update the BIOS which basically means you have to put the BIOS file on the USB stick and then plug it in so then you could update the BIOS or you're perfectly fine just running flash utility and selecting the file straight from your drive so for most of us that should work perfectly fine if you get an error or any of that I'll be showing a fix real quickly on how you could prevent that error just in case that you can't update your BIOS. So the error that you might see pop up is that your BIOS is not a selected BIOS. For example, the motherboard doesn't recognize it as a BIOS file and it doesn't want to update to that. So all we're going to do is we're going to search up create on our Windows search bar and create and format disk partition should be the first one that pops up. We're going to click on that. And then we're gonna shrink our current volume. So our C drive, we're gonna right click on it and click shrink volume. And it's gonna query some of the space. And then all we're gonna need is like 300 megabytes. So just type 300 and then that should be good enough. Then you can just press shrink. And just give it a second to shrink the file. And then as you can see, there's an allocated space. All we're gonna do is right click on it, click new simple volume, press next, press next, press next. And then file system, make sure you set this to FAT32. This is so it can mimic a USB stick and we don't actually need one. And then click FAT32 and then volume label. We're going to type BIOS and then press next and press finished. And then all we're going to do is drag our BIOS file into that partition because it'll show up right here in your file explorer. So just drag it in here and then reboot to BIOS and it should show up in either one of the flash utilities. So the easiest way to actually figure out how to use the flash utilities is just to go to your motherboard website, find a video or find the manual and just follow it. But for people that are on either ASUS, MSI or Gigabyte, I'll just quickly go through it. So if you're on MSI, just click M flash. It should be like on the bottom left of the BIOS screen and then just choose the drive you have the BIOS file on. So depending on the drive, it might be different space. So if you have it on my, for example, for in my case, if I have it on my C drive, it's going to be a drive with 407, it's going to be 407,000 megabytes, right? So I'm going to choose that and choose a file in there. Or if I'm choosing the BIOS, it's going to be three, 386 megabytes. I'm just going to choose the BIOS file in there. ASUS, the same thing. You're going to have to go to advanced mode if you're in easy mode and go to tool at the top right, go to ASUS Easy Flash 3 Utility, and then you could just choose one of the volumes on the left, and then it should pop up the BIOS file on the right. And then you just click the BIOS file, press yes to all the pop-ups, and then it will start updating. For a gigabyte, you just want to enter Q Flash and do kind of the same thing. I don't know the specifics really. I've only done gigabyte by once or twice for updating it but yeah just a quick warning do not shut down or restart your pc while the bios is updating now most motherboards nowadays are going to show a warning not to do that but again i'm warning you here again do not let your pc get turned off or restarted while the bios update is happening it could break your motherboard and you'll have you have to go through an annoying process of either rma or just having to get a new motherboard which you don't want to go through obviously anyways that's pretty much it for this video guys subscribe for more follow me on all my social Socials, follow me on Twitter if you want exclusive things. I only post on Twitter. And if you want a full PC optimization, head over to the link in the description. Book an appointment. I do this and more for you. Everything I do is oriented towards performance and latency. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.